beautiful card we have here and it's one of my favorite things to do with stamping is to sort of stamp onto something and off to something and I'm going to show you exactly how we can make this really simple but really effective beautiful card so let's pop that to the side um, and we're going to have uh, our piece of board now you're getting these packs of card in there uh, really nice weight they are they've got a, a rougher side and a smoother side so you can decide what to go on to I'm going to go on to the rougher side here and we're going to bring our stamping platform in but what I also want to do I want to stamp onto this green strip I'm going to give you the measurements of them just so you know so we've got our five and a half by three and a half and then this little strip that I've created just an off cut from one of our papers when I was playing with the box uh, this is one and a quarter by five and a half so it's exactly the same length going down so you can see it fits perfectly it doesn't really matter where you position this card but have it so you've got enough play because what I've also done is I've got another piece of black card which I want to mat and layer underneath this part so even though we're going to stamp onto two pieces I then do want to mat and layer so just make sure and be mindful when you pop it in place uh, you leave about a centimeter down the side okay so we're going to I'm going to use that as a guide to start with so I'm going to pop that there and I'm, I'm going to come two of my squares in on the board so let's pop that there pop this into place and I'm going to come two squares in which is about a centimeter and then I can make sure that I've got that lined up to the top as well and then we've got the perfect positioning so let's pop those into place. I'm going to pop one there and one at the top. And then we're going to bring in our fairy this time, which is this one here, which is such a cute little fairy. Um, and then she's, I'm not sure what she's carrying. Looks like a little like fairy torch or something. Uh, and then we're going to position her, but we're positioning her over. So her wings slightly come out of the side, um, but her whole um, sort of body and her face uh, is in the actual design uh, and I also want to just put this her sort of lantern out a little bit but making sure that her, le her legs her body is all in with that green area uh, so happy with that we're going to put our stamping platform over the top press that down and then we can ink her up so again just using black ink uh, you can use whatever ink of your choice because we're just going on to uncoated cardstock. Um, so whatever ink you use on it, I'm using a pigment ink pad. Uh, I like the black pigment ink pad um, and it has a really good uh, solid lay down of colour. So just pushing down, use your fingers to just push that colour in. Make sure you do push it down because what you want it to do is overlap from that piece of card that's coming down. So you can see when I bring that up, um, oh, I could have done with that. And because it's moved, I'm not going to worry about that because those have slightly moved. But that's not a worry because we've got this piece of cardstock that will go underneath. So when we then place that back, it then creates, you can see, we've got those uh, fairy wings. Can you see, so that's almost covered uh, where we had it, but it gives that illusion that she's going across the page there. So that's our first part done. I then want to still use this part uh, because we want to uh, add some of our other designs on there. And it's a great thing with having these stamps. So I am gonna pop this back into place uh, and just have this onto our board. Uh, just roughly because we're not going to stamp onto the green but I want to give myself a guideline um, of where we're going to place everything. Uh, you've got other little um, uh, places in here so you can use uh, whichever ones you want. We've got little uh, vines that are coming up so really nice ones. Um, so you can use whatever you want just on the side. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use and I, we're going to run out of time so I want to get the card finished but this one here if you do it multiple times across across the bottom so we would go across the bottom and keep going underneath so I'm going to bring that off do it again across the bottom there what you will then end up with and what I've also done is stamped out the little rabbit so you can see here the little rabbit or the hair actually because it's got really long ears which I think is the hair uh, just stamped that along there and added all those extra pieces so let's pop that to the side and bring that one in 
Now the other thing you can do, my um, one is probably going to be slightly out compared to this one. Yes, so I'm going to bring in the other one, but what I want to show you is using your, so bringing in something different, so you might have a glitter pen um, or one of our sparkle pens in your stash. Give that a shake, uh, use that to go over onto your, um, when this dries, it looks amazing and I'll show you because once that's done and that dries you actually get that sparkle coming out in those wings so it just looks a little bit different. So let's pop these to the side. We will bring in all our elements to pop our card together. So all I've done is bought in some black cardstock, had the card blank from the box. We're going to mat and layer this in using our tape pens. So it's nice and quick. Obviously wet glue you can use. We're going to pop that to the top, or on the top, should I say, just like so. And then we're going to use this one on the top as well. Now you could use foam pads if you wanted to, to add that definition or make it look a little bit more 3D. We're just going to lay ours flat down onto that border. Always turn around and just give it a little bit of a, a burnish to make sure that that's stuck nicely. And then we're going to place this one right in that center piece but first of all we're going to pop that onto our black border so right into there just like so and then we're going to add that right in the center and then all we need to do from there so let's hover that so her wings will be where they need to be just like so there we go little bit wonky there let's just straighten that one up there we go and then all I've done is I've put um, my soul sister which is one of the stamps that you're getting on here so a really lovely uh, stamp to have they've got some really different uh, sentiments on this in this box which is gorgeous we're going to pop that on have this going onto our top so we're going to have that from here and then we've just got a little bow. So one of the ribbons we will pop into place. So you'll just use that to make a bow. And then I've just got a few gems and you'll use those gems. Uh, well, they're not gems, they're the um, uh, dew drops that you're getting in this kit. And we're just gonna pop a few on to there to finish our make. And there you go, if I turn that round, You'll be able to see it's another one of those very little cute cards that you could be making with this collection and there you go and that's box number 51 uh, which is the stamps and stencil kit